Hey Collective, it's your girl Spiritual Sag. Y'all, let's see what messages come out for you guys today. Y'all know I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. So let's see what's going on for my collective. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. Don't make anything fit and don't put anyone above your own intuition. Um, I don't know why I was getting like, somebody could have been, somebody was trying to make somebody do something. They could have been threatening them or something like that. But anyway, let's see what's going on. All right, so you have exchanging gifts. Serendipity. What else, spirit? And loyal hearts. Okay. I did see the two of cups when I was shuffling. Bottom of the deck is milk and honey. So, let's break this open. Let's see what it's about. Spirit, what's going on for the kids? All right, so you have opportunity to forgive. The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns, okay? Giving and receiving again. Ground yourself. Wedding. Some of y'all could be going to a wedding. Or this situation could involve one. Because we already got loyal hearts. Exchanging gifts. Giving and receiving is the same. Both of these is like the six of pentacles. But why is this opportunity to forgive here? What's this about? Spirit, what is this opportunity to forgive? Ten of wands. What's the opportunity to forgive? Please and thank you. What's the opportunity? Eight of cups. Somebody could want you to walk to uh, forgive them for walking away. Y'all, my camera. I'm recording on my iPad, so that's why I look like that. But I'm, I'm clarifying opportunity to forgive, and the Eight of Cups came out. Or, yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's either for them walking away or making you feel like you needed to walk away. I'm also seeing those mountains, which represent obstacles. So, let's take this side. This could, for some of y'all, this could have to do with work with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, there it is right there, Page of Cups. And I always tell y'all, with that little fish in this cup, somebody could have withheld something from you. Okay. Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Audi Cup, and Tower. Page of Cups. Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. You know what I'm kind of getting with this four, uh, with this Page of Cups? What somebody withheld from you could have been opportunities. Somebody could have held back opportunities. Could have been like three to four opportunities that was coming your way. And this person held them back from you. Why in your world? Why did they do that? Could have something to do with a ten of pentacles or a family or a group but look two of cups at the bottom of the deck so yeah five of swords somebody was trying to win by any means necessary okay but with this will of fortune see look at this i'm getting with this will of fortune somebody could have had a change of heart change of mind something like that why were they trying to uh yeah, somebody could have did something for a long time. Seven of Pentacles. But I feel like the way that this person was doing it, look at the return. There really wasn't no return on it. It reminded me of that show that I just saw. I didn't get to watch it, but I saw the title of it. Um, Fellow Travelers. I'm kind of getting that right here. So some of y'all may have had to defend yourself. It's kind of giving like get back energy with this opportunity to forgive. You may have walked away and somebody could have took it out on you for walking away. Either this person wants to apologize for walking away 
or you could have walked away and you see that moon i'm kind of getting with that moon right there you see how the mouth is closed something could have been misunderstood something could have been with fear and something could have been misunderstood and so maybe you guys didn't talk about it somebody just walked off walked out okay so either way with this opportunity to get right here what else spirit? But some of y'all, you know, this person might try to come back big, and that could be why you got this wedding right here. Just depends on what all they did. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been talking about this for a long time. You had energies coming at you, nine of swords, five of swords, and the whole time you was like this. Whether you are a man or a woman, queen of cups, ace of cups. All right, what else? I watched... Um, Spirit got intuitions the other day and she said somebody it was a surprise gone wrong somebody did something the wrong way or maybe something we saw that seven of pentacles this person was investing in something but i feel like it didn't turn out how they wanted it okay what else spirit with this eight of cups maybe somebody wanted you to come back i just feel like a get back energy wait we got queen of swords so you could have Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords. This could be someone's ex or someone who's in law enforcement. Um, you had this energy coming at a Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. No, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. And you know what I'm kind of getting? It's like, um, it's that get back. Somebody's trying to make somebody pay for something. That could be physically. Maybe someone's physically trying to make you pay for something. Or it's really giving get back. All right, you got the cancer here with the cherry. I always tell y'all what this symbolizes with the red, white, and blue lights. You see them riding through the neighborhood. Okay, so there could be something with black and white. Seven of Pentacles. Some, I'm also getting, for some of y'all, this could be the male. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo, too. I'm trying, and, I, and I'm seeing this ten of swords trying to peek through. So somebody could have been doing something with someone's mail. They were doing something for a long, long time, bro. That's why this opportunity to forgive is out here. Cause like what? What else here? And I, I'm not sure who this queen of swords is in your life. If you're going through this, it's somebody that was hurt. Could have been an ex. Somebody could be doing with a Gemini or a Pisces. But uh, with the three of swords right here, definitely somebody was hurt. So that's that whole get back. I'm going to make you feel what I feel. That's what I'm getting right there. Ooh, okay. I kind of picked that up. Yeah, it could have been somebody's spouse or sibling. Because the Queen of Pentacles could be a mother. It could be a wife. It could be a sibling. It could be sisters. Maybe a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords teamed up against a Queen of Cups. Y'all got to take it how it resonates. Um, but see, with this Wheel of Fortune, I just feel like, yep, Ten of Swords. It's some type of betrayal. Now that Ten Knives is in this person back, someone's satisfied. Nine of Cups. Wow, what the fuck? Yep, I, I cannot make it up, y'all. Five of Swords. It, I'm telling you, that's something to do with the Ten of Pentacles. A business, money, family, community, group, something like that. This is crazy. And now I'm picking this up. I picked this up last week or two weeks ago. Somebody's money was frozen. You see how them pinnacles just in the air? I don't know what the hell it is. That could be what someone held back from. They could have froze your stuff. I, I don't know, child. Yep, five pinnacles. They wanted somebody in the five of pentacles. I talked about this in Sag's reading. 
It could be family, ten of cups, or someone's family. Why in the world? All right, so, I mean, I do see good stuff out here with the loyal heart, serendipity, milk and honey, and wedding. And with this ground yourself, because somebody's going to go from the ten of swords to this right here. It's like extreme change. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. And I just saw the Knight of Wands. And I feel like it's because you didn't give up on yourself. This may not be you. This could be someone else. Okay? But let's keep going. What else uh, we need to see for this reading? But some of y'all got something to do with work with that Eight of Pentacles right there. I hate because y'all can't see the card. else we need to see spirit the world so this is the ending of a major cycle don't know why somebody had to be brave it looked like this person was surrounded somebody could be dealing with a taurus an aquarius a leo scorpio this person whoever this is that's laying down was threatened by this energy and was made to do something. This is, I feel like this is the person that's coming to you and wanting some type of forgiveness. And that, this person had to have the strength to do something. Because look how they land. Damn. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So, Page of Pentacles, it could be a child, but I feel like it's some type of new. Somebody's discovering something that they didn't see before. Yeah. And so, that's the Milk and Honey. Serendipity, Nine of Pentacles. Y'all, this is kind of messed up. I don't even want to go into, yeah, empathy, open to seeing both sides of the situation. Because maybe somebody was just looking at it one side with this um, nine of cups. But three people could have got hurt here or somebody was doing something out of some type of pain. What else do you I told you a major change and this landed out on top of the wheel of fortune with the two of cups and knight of swords okay so it says i understand that nothing nothing can grow or evolve without movement whoever this was in this eight of cups i feel like they needed to do that even if it was you that walked away because whoever this was when they walked they walked towards those mountains which is those obstacles the eight of cups is all about evolving okay so even if this is you or someone else, I feel like as you walk this path, okay, not really knowing what was going on with this moon energy, you may have learned some things. But you see this water here is all about like um, releasing. You could have been doing some purging on this path. Something could have been eight months, eight years, eight weeks. Take a high resume. But service, I feel good when I can help others. Let me pull my green cards. So, yes, yeah, somebody was in some pain and suffering with this Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Um, but like the card said, empathy. Somebody's open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay. Now we have this angelic help. This is a time to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for. There's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. And pay attention to the signs your angels are sending you at this time. And the bottom of the day is celebrated. So somebody will be celebrating after going through all this right here. Okay. Men, what needs mending? And I did see that mending card when I was uh, shuffling. Men, what needs mending? It may be broken, 
but all is not lost. It also say consider a career as a mechanic, an automotive, aerospace, or repair technician. This is like for somebody that remember I said something had to do with work. This is a woman putting in a damn transmission. For some of y'all, maybe that's what it was. Somebody could have wanted to block someone, keep someone from getting some type of opportunity. I said they blocked opportunities right here. But whatever's going on, okay, yeah, peacemaker. I feel like this, something's about to be brought into balance, some type of peace here. And this card is a good indicator that things will start to move rather quickly. Some of you guys may have to travel. Some of you guys could work for the airline. Could it look, they look like they're at the airport. But I just feel like it's saying, and then for somebody here, there is a job position. You ain't got to do shit, but pack your bags, child. Pack your bags, have your ID, and get ready to go. That for somebody. Not everybody, but for somebody, okay? And um, what I was getting at the beginning when I said somebody was made to do something, I feel like somebody could be speaking up with their voice. Yeah, it says the only thing that's holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. Maybe somebody spoke up. Because say, get your message heard and get noticed you have much to share with the world. Remember I said on this moon, the mouth was shut. Wow. Somebody could want, they could want that forgiveness. Right? You could have been in this three of swords, ten of swords, and instead of this person helping you or you know calling and checking on you they just walked off they kept their mouth closed and walked off look at the moon mouth shut they kept it closed off uh kept their clothes off what the fuck so this could have something to do with a relationship or whatever take it how it resonates but um i just feel like you're gonna go from this three of swords ten of swords to the three of cups because there is something better. Okay, that's for somebody out here. It's not going to be everybody's reading. Let's get a message from the higher self. Solitude. And peace. In silence, peace prevails. So you could have been in hermit mode. And somebody could have walked away and left you in her mode, or you could have did that, vice versa. But I feel like there was some lessons that was learned. Okay. Anything else? Answering the call, the time is now. Yeah, somebody knew they had to go and say something. Whether it be you or somebody else. Something could be happening at the last minute, too. Okay, now let's close this out. Spirit. Let's close it out for my collective. What we need to see. I don't know why I'm feeling like something with reputation. The six of wands didn't come out, but I'm getting that feeling. Mm, okay. What do we need to see here? Again, be willing to forgive. That's the second. This one says opportunity to forgive. And this one says be willing to forgive. Okay. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. We saw that peacemaker. Because I feel like it's time for a situation to be mended, right? Mend what needs mending. It may be broken, but not all is lost. And then you got this past life situation. So I feel like it's something that happened in the past. The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask the angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. Because this Ten of Swords, um, Three of Swords, obviously it happened in the past, right? Which is why the forgiveness is here. This could be having to forgive yourself or forgive somebody who walked out on you. Or, I, you know, take it how it's going to resonate. And then the bottom of the deck, you are a light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. 
Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. We did see this, um, yeah, third eye chakra. You know, for some of y'all, you could have got some type of adversity for being, you know, a light worker with this service card. But it says, because right next to it is third eye chakra. It's safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. With that exchange and gifts, you could have been helping somebody like that. Um, service, I feel good when I can help others. And it is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. Remember I said on this eight of cups, somebody walked towards those mountains. That was that adversity. But it says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. It was something that somebody had to learn down this path. And didn't nobody say it was going to be easy or, you know, you weren't going to experience some type of pain. But now you get to either extend forgiveness or... Or an apology. Y'all take it how it's going to resonate. I feel like something can be healed. Or there will be an opportunity to do that. Okay, that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Don't make anything fit. And, you know, only take what resonates in this reading. So, with this three of cups in this wedding, you could be invited. You could be invited to a wedding or someone could be... Propose and take how it resonates, y'all. All right. Till next time.